Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI collection view where we'll be using the C sharp code and uh, we'll be filtering it out like this. So here I have used my uh, previous video where uh, um, uh, where I have uh, uh, told about the collection view SAP implementation and this is the same continuation of the whole project. So you can just uh, refer to this video where you will be knowing about how to implement a collection view as well as the csap uh, uh, implementation so i'll be uh, quickly going through this video so you can just take the project reference uh, code from my videos description below so here uh, uh, at first what we are going to do is we are going to add the three packages you can see over here the, that is our community toolkit maui as well as the community toolkit markup so we'll just go to manage nuget packages and uh, we'll just install the uh, community toolkit community toolkit uh, community toolkit toolkit markup okay so this is the to community toolkit markup as well as uh, uh, the co community toolkit too so toolkit maui so i've just installed the uh, uh, three plugins that is maui and as well as uh, the markup so you can just uh, uh, install to all of your project and use this implementation and don't forget to add this namespace that is is uh, that is it uh, regarding the plugin implementation now we are going to create a a uh, new ui that is like uh, we are going to tell the whole application to start a new ui and you can just start a app cell and add this uh, ui to in my previous videos i have already told how to add the uh, new ui to the uh, main app cell so uh, add a new uh, new file and uh, create a new uh, .NET MAUI as a content page uh, C sharp. So this is the C sharp page which I have created. So I'll just quickly go through this because I have already told about the uh, this in my previous videos. So uh, I'll just quickly show you to you like this. So here uh, what we actually do uh, are doing is MBVM implementation where we have our models. We have separated our view models and as well as uh, the ui so this is the ui that tells that this is a content page same as like uh, how we uh, initialize our xaml as well as c sub page so that is same so we have a grid so here you can see this is a grid uh, a grid contains two items that is uh, this is the source item as well as uh, this is the source control as well as this is the uh, collection view so in my grid dot row zero this is the zero item this is the first item and uh, we have told that it is a 50 height you can just uh, tell of yes of your own but uh, don't uh, i'll just tell about this a little bit later so here uh, the second row is uh, our grid dot uh, row say of second that is our auto that means this is the collection view okay so what i'm going to actually do is i'm just going to add my entry as well as my collection view so these uh, two basically are like uh, in that main grid i'm just going to tell that uh, whole ui contain a grid and then this grid contains two children as a uh, entry this is the entry field and uh, this is the collection view so this is the, the two th actual things i'll just uh, scroll a little bit over here so here you can see uh, i have my entry so my entry extends from entry okay so this is just a entry uh, entry field and uh, what i am actually doing over here is i'm going to share a view model because uh, this is just a view model class so you can just create a new class name as uh, view model class okay so just create a class and then add a new uh, my collection view model as a c sub class and i'm going to share a view model uh with the whole ui that means i'm going to re reuse the whole main uh, main my collection view view model every time whenever i need it because i want the data from the view model that is why so actually what happens here over here is uh like this uh, i have used it 
okay so uh, this is the entry okay so this is the entry and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add the entry with the placeholder as a search so you can see this is a search as a as a placeholder okay so uh, what i'm going to do is like whatever happens within the entry i'm going to reuse it okay so i have used a um, collection view as a view model okay so i'm just using it and i'm going to tell that uh my entry gets binded uh with the text property okay so this text property is the property that gets binded every time okay so this is how the binding takes place and i have already told about this in my previous videos too so how does uh uh like a uh, like a ui binds with the view model okay so user entry text is the text uh, that gets from the view model so i'll just show it to you how our view model looks like so it is actually really uh, basic tutorial so here uh, you can see okay so uh, user entry text is the uh, public string that gets um, binded with the entry ui okay so entry ui is this one okay so this entry ui gets all this data from this one as a public property okay so don't forget to add this bindable object because we need to add that and i'll uh, tell more about the entry a little a little bit later but here our main actual thing is uh, we are going to bind the uh, ui with the collection of items okay so this is the user items that gets uh, data from the api as well as uh, all the, uh, anything as a data as a database too so this user item is just a uh, placeholder like a, a ui holder and where the my model is the uh, just a model class okay so this is just a model class this is how the mbbm works so model is separated view model is separated and the uh, like view is separated so this is just a view model okay uh, and this view model is just as act as like container which gets its data from the uh, api as well as the database and this data is going to be sent to the uh, binding object of the uh, view so there that is actually how it, it really works and here uh, i have added a container okay so as a history so that this history item saves the um, data that means one is act as like a source one act as like a uh, like a history saver okay so this saves the history of whatever uh, previously the items were saved okay this uh, act as like a uh, api where the data gets uh, collected to this item okay so what happens with this one is this, this just saving the history what uh, history of uh, the user item that means just a history okay so that that is it so what happens over here is i'll just go over here i'll just scroll a little bit over here and i'll try to explain more so here <coughs> my entry uh, will get all its bi da data binded uh, that means whatever the changes happens it changes uh, it happens over here okay like uh, it gets the data from the uh, view model and binds that uh, text property it might have uh, other properties too uh, and then uh, here i'm just try trying to bind the text property of that entry okay so which i have which i have skipped in the row dot zero okay that means uh, zero row and along with that uh here you can see uh main grid dot uh, children dot add i'm just adding the collection view okay and i'm also uh, like uh, uh, binding the source property of the collection view from here itself okay so i'm just going to bind the source property uh to the user items okay and that is a two-way property okay that means uh, every time if, if it changes then it changes uh, uh, both ways so you can see what is a two way indicates that the binding should provide changes from the source usually from the view model to target okay in both directions that means anything changes in the entry uh, should reflect on the uh, uh, collection view too so that is it so the like uh, this is just an entry uh, which has uh, a view model so that you can just reuse it whenever like uh, uh, if you want any text change property over here okay just a csap way and only then uh, you can use a csap uh, uncomment this code and then you reuse this one this whole code 
okay if you want it from the view model also you can do it uh, through the binding way okay so i have uh, implemented both the ways that is a text change property way as well as the uh, binding way and here the collection view has uh, uh, just a item layout okay just a grid item layout and you can see you can just remodify the whole grid uh, as of you uh, your uh, requirement okay so there is a item template there is a data template okay so there is a vertical stack layout this is just a stack layout and i have already mentioned about it in my previous video too and we have um, uh given the item source for this uh, collection view okay so the items uh, item source is uh, binded from the uh, view model itself that means a source uh, that gets from the view model and we have binded the text property text property these are the two text properties and we can add the image property also over here as a image space image and then uh, i'll just do that in my later videos and uh, here uh, the name as well as the address is going to be binded so here you can see uh, we have binded the two, uh, two items and we have um, the, like uh, return the vertical view to the item template so that our collection view gets all its data uh, to itself and that is it so i have i think uh, pretty much explained about the collection view and now uh, what i need to explain is about the uh, entry text change property okay so this bindable object what happens is like if somebody adds the entry text uh, like some data then what happens is like uh, we are going to filter the item based on the user enter text okay to a lower property okay that means a lower text or, or the upper case it doesn't matter okay it will just filter the item out and then uh, the filtration takes place and uh, why, why that is why we have used the save uh, history user items so that it saves the history and we can again uh, reuse uh, later too so whenever the uh, item is empty then we are going to tell that user item give the ui uh, the previous items that were saved okay and uh, there is no filtration takes place and uh, if there is any text entered by the user then uh, ui uh, ui is fed it with the uh, history item uh, data so that is all uh, so i think i have explained everything so that is all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials